Okay, so thinking about our previous videos, we've established that mail merge occurs when you've got a data source and you've got a Word document. More often than not, you'll be doing a query and merging the results to your the uh, Word document, or you'll be merging potentially a whole table potentially um, at higher, or more than likely be a query. Now, depending on how difficult your query is, it will have several operators. It could be and it could be or it could be later than greater uh, greater than or less than. Now, something in particular that I had to do this week that didn't work the way it should have done was to mail merge a query that contained a wildcard operator. Now, if you remember your wildcard operator in your query language, a wildcard operator is one you would use when you're trying to search for data that is in a list like this. It's got a long list of key facts or attributes. And you've got to use special terms or special language to help the computer understand what it is you wanted to do. Now, I've created a basic query already and used a wildcard operator in the design view. Now, if you remember, the wildcard operator is your asterisk. So, in this question, in the old higher exam, you have to look for venues that had a bar. Now, to get to the search through that whole list, you had to use the operator the asterisk bar asterisk. And that is the like query. And it looks for everything in that list that is like bar. And it's also like so. So we're going to save this and then we're going to try and merge it into the database and see if it works as it should. Okay, so here we are. We have our table. We've done our query. Now let's set about the mail merge as you normally would. Step by step wizard. Start document, so on and so on. And we browse and I've saved this on the desktop. Let's see. Let's click open. Let's click on query one, so that's our only query. Let's click OK. Now, your query should have some results here, but the results are blank. So if you try and put any information in, nothing nothing will work. Now it was being honest, it was a pure accident that I stumbled on how to do this. You should go back to your query design view. And you change your asterisk operators for percentage signs. Like so, so percentage sign, your query term, and a final percentage sign. If you run your query, of course, your results here will be blank. There's nothing there. Which is fine, don't panic. Save your query. Go back to your document. Go for it, select a different list. Find your file again. Open. Go to your query, like so. Click OK, and your results will be populated. Click OK. You're now able to add your merge fields. And then you can go about your previous ways you learned. Your name, your fields. And then when you merge it, it will work. And I just highlighted the merge fields by mistake there when I was doing that. And if you write your letter, which we've done, the preview, we can see that it is populated now. 
I'm not being honest, I'm not quite sure why these percentage signs make the difference in this version of software. It might work normally with your asterisk operators in previous versions, but with, with 2013, I'm not sure, but the percentage signs make the difference. So it was a, a bit of a fluke that I that, that I discovered that. So if you're doing this version of software and you do a wildcard well query and it doesn't work, this is how you have to present your variables in your query. And the first time they won't be there, when you go back and run them, they won't be there either. But they are there for the whole purpose of the mail merge. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. And mail merge. Mail merge can be difficult, but it's not as tricky as, as it seems to be. If you get an understanding of it relatively quickly, uh, hopefully these have been of some use to you. Thanks a lot.